Get ready for the easiest mid-journey tutorial so that you can fulfill all of your AI art desires. Let's start creating right now. Okay, so midjourney.com currently exists on Discord. They are working on a web application, so that should be available soon, but for now you can only join midjourney and create on Discord. How do you do that? All links will be in the description. So navigate to discord.com, go ahead, download and sign up, log in. And then when you navigate back to midjourney.com, you're gonna go ahead and click join the beta. Once you do, you're gonna see this. Now, if this looks a little bit advanced or intimidating, don't worry, this is what I'm here for. So this right here on your left-hand side in Discord, these are your servers. So as you can see, I'm in the mid-journey server. Over here, these are simply channels, basically organized folders into what the discussion is about. And then over here, this is the actual chat thread. Okay, so if you wanna use the free version, and I will go ahead and show you how to subscribe for a paid version and use that, which is a lot less clutter. But at first, a lot of people that get involved in Mid Journey and wanna try it, they use one of these newbies rooms. They're not always available, but right now they are. So if I navigate to a newbies room, I can go ahead and input a prompt here and Mid Journey will create an image for me. Now, one thing that I want you guys to understand is that Mid Journey has prompts. What is a prompt? A prompt is a short text phrase that the Mid Journey bot interprets to produce an image. It's the most important part for what we're doing today. The most basic and simple prompt on Mid Journey is forward slash imagine, and then you follow that up with a description of what you wanted to imagine and create. It could be a single word, it could be a phrase, it could be just an emoji. So let's try that out right now. So we're gonna do forward slash imagine. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And then we're gonna ask it to create a purple angry rabbit spilling coffee as he watches a mid journey YouTube tutorial on a desktop computer. We're gonna hit enter. And now the tricky part is because it's a free newbies room, there are a lot of submissions here. A lot of people are putting in prompts and waiting for their AI art to be generated and created and sent to them. So the way to find where your submissions were is to go ahead and navigate to the inbox. And over here, you can actually see the percentage of completion of your request. And so we're at 93%. And now we are fully complete. And so what we can do is we can click on jump and in this thread it will actually jump to our request and as you can see it created a grid of four square images of a purple angry rabbit spilling coffee as he watches a mid-journey YouTube tutorial on a desktop computer. I actually love these. Now some of these I love more than others. For instance this first one and the second one I love a lot more than the third and the fourth but the first one I love the best. Now there's a few things we could do here. First, we can just click on it and it will show it to us in a much larger image. Then we can right click and save the image if we like it and we wanna send these four examples to someone or utilize it for something. But what I would really like to explain is this right here, this U1, U2, U3, U4, V1, V2, V3, V4, and this regenerate icon right here. What does all of this mean? Well, let's start with the U1 through U4. The first thing I want you to understand is when you get four images, it's like quadrants. This is the first, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth. What the U stands for is upscaling. Right here, you can decide which image to upscale. What does that mean? Well, you can add a lot more detail to an image that you like by upscaling it. So for instance, if I really love this image right here and I wanna upscale it, I can simply click U1 and it will go ahead and it will upscale that image for me with even greater detail. And remember, I just go to the inbox and I could see the image right here. I jump to it and as we can see here, it actually upscaled it so I could click it I could open it in browser, and if I love it, I could simply save the image. And when I click save, for me, it opens right in Photoshop. I can further edit it, I can go ahead and send it to someone, I can modify it. This is amazing, and this was done in less than a minute.
And Midjourney has a lot of helpful resources. I'm gonna link them all in the description, but right here, we just upscaled. So let's see what that was. Well, these are the quadrants. This is what I was explaining to you, that this is image one, two, three, four. And right here, the U1 to U4, these U buttons upscale an image, generating a larger version of the selected image and adding more details. Now what I wanna do is explain what V1, V2, V3, and V4 mean. So right here, Midjourney says the V buttons create slight variations of the selected grid image. Creating a variation generates a brand new image grid similar to the chosen images overall style and composition. So this is helpful to know. So what exactly does that mean? Well, I love this first image, but maybe I want to tell the Midjourney bot, hey, the first image was the best representation of what I wanted, so go ahead and create something similar out of this image. So I can simply click V1, and it's gonna generate an entire new grid with just variations of this image. And the cool thing is, is we can actually see how it works by clicking inbox and seeing that it's 27% complete. And you see that all of these look very similar to this image here because they are variations of that image. Now we're at 83% and this is getting completed pretty quickly. This is not sped up. So in under 20 seconds, we were actually able to receive this from the mid journey bot, which is freaking amazing. Take a look at this four different variations. Now now, I actually like this version best. So what do I do? Well, let's remember that this is the third image. So we can upscale that third image. We can go here to inbox and we can see that it went ahead and upscaled that image. Now I can simply click on it. I can open it in browser and I can save image as and I will get a high definition image of a purple rabbit freaking out as he watches a YouTube tutorial on mid journey because it could be complicated. But relax rabbit because I'm gonna create the easiest tutorial there is and I'm gonna create a lot more of them. Okay, so now I wanna explain this button right here. This is basically a rerun button, which basically is gonna make the mid journey bot regenerate a grid based on this prompt right here. So brand new. So let's see what happens if I go ahead and ask it to regenerate the entire grid using this prompt because maybe I wasn't happy with any of the stuff that it did. So very quickly, it went ahead and created a brand new grid. And if you take a look, it did exactly that. So as you can see, none of these are exactly the same as these. And remember, all of this up to this point was free, which is amazing by mid journey. I know a lot of people freak out when platforms like this start charging exorbitant amounts of money to use them, but it really is a phenomenal generative AI and it is worth money. So I'm okay paying for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up to a really nice plan right now and I will jump in and show you guys some neat tricks to organize everything so that you don't have to search for everything in inboxes so that you can have a conversation just with the mid journey bot without the public seeing it and we're going to jump into explaining parameters. So if you go back to midjourney.com forward slash account, you will see all the various options and the different types of plans they offer. Make sure to read about the pros and cons of each plan. For me personally, I'm gonna go ahead with the standard plan. And instead of being billed yearly, I'm gonna switch it to monthly for now. I'm gonna click subscribe. And then I'll enter the pertinent information and click subscribe again. And boom, we are subscribed to Mid Journey. Okay, so now that we're all signed up, if you go back to Discord, you can click on the top left direct messages and you're gonna see that you're just having a conversation with the Mid Journey bot. One thing I wanna point out here is it says, no, DMs with the bot are public on the web gallery by default. However, you can change that by going to forward slash settings and if you click enter, you are going to see that you can toggle your various settings and adjust them here. So for instance, one thing to keep in mind is the different versions of mid journey offer different styles and different feels. And I'll make a separate video on that. But what I always do is I select the latest version. There's obviously raw Niji version four, Niji version five. I'm going to cover those in a different tutorial, but I want to show you here there's public mode, but you can also do stealth mode. Oh, and actually I thought 
because I'm a member, it's gonna allow me to do it, but I didn't do the pro plan, so maybe that's why, because it says that the membership plan doesn't include private mode. I have to upgrade to gain access to private mode. So right here, I'm learning on the spot with you guys. So moving right along, we're gonna go into parameters. And what I wanna talk about as far as parameters go is first of all, what is a parameter? Parameters are options added to a prompt that change how an image generates. Parameters can change an image's aspect ratio, change which upscaler is used, and a lot more. Parameters are always added to the end of a prompt. You can add multiple parameters to each prompt. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna stick to aspect ratio. If you're not sure what aspect ratio means, that's just the ratio of an image width to height. So for instance, a square image like on Instagram is one to one. This screen right here, this is 16 by nine. And actually, if we click aspect ratio, then mid journey takes you to a really helpful article on it and it's gonna show it to you. So for instance, this right here, one to one, three to two, four by five. So if you're using a mobile device, that's typically nine by 16. And if you're using desktop, that's 16 by nine. YouTube cover photos, 16 by nine. Instagram reel covers, typically nine by 16. And so right here, we see that the way to change the aspect ratio is dash dash AR, and then you specify which ratio it is. So now we're gonna use the same prompt we were using earlier and go ahead and instead of one by one, we're gonna make it a 16 by nine. One thing I wanna point out right here, now that we're understanding parameters more, is this parameter right here, dash dash V. That is the version of Midjourney that you wish to use. And currently the latest is 5.1. So that's why they have it right here. When 5.2 comes out, 5.3, 6.1, 6.2, 7, 8, 9, this is where you can select which one you like. Sometimes there's been times where Midjourney came out with a new version, but people like the previous one better. And so they would specify it here or they would go to forward slash settings like I did before and they would choose that as the default setting for all their prompts so now let's try it let's do forward slash imagine and then we're gonna put in the prompt a purple angry rabbit spilling coffee as he watches a mid journey YouTube tutorial on a desktop computer and we're gonna add the parameter dash dash a R and we are gonna specify it to be 16 by 9 Click enter. So now as you see, as it's working on it, we don't even need to go to the inbox. We can just watch it right here. And we can see that it's at 31% currently. Let's see what happens when it's at 100% completion. And so right here, let's say I like the first image the best. I go ahead and select it and it went ahead and upscaled it for me. And now I can go ahead and save it and now that I have it here in Photoshop, I can go ahead and create a nice tutorial cover and post it on YouTube and hopefully everyone's gonna love it. Hopefully I will be encouraged and motivated to make more easy tutorials like this. I know how difficult some of these programs are. I know how aggravating it can be when there is no guidance. I did not see YouTube tutorials on Mid Journey that were very easy. And so I wanted to make a simple, easy to use, beginner friendly tutorial. I'm gonna dive into much more deeper, complex, advanced topics. So if you would like to support what I do, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.